Are you uh, Jason's... You're Jason's friend. <laughs> this is Brenda. This is Sam. She's my... Girlfriend? It's really nice to meet you. You too. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't realize who you are because he, he never, you know, told That's... me what you look like or anything. Or he actually has never told me anything about you what? because uh, he doesn't really like to talk. Well, not to me. Yeah, but well, anyway, no, I, I don't see any reason to, to tell you about my personal life. There's no. What are you talking no about? Problem. Why wouldn't you tell me about your personal Why, life? Yeah. We've known each other forever. You have no problem taking away my choices. You're taking away your choices? I just thought your choices were wrong. I didn't oh, take anything away. Oh, you're gonna tell me how wrong I am in front of your girlfriend? It's just... really nice behavior. Sam. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. No, no are sorry. you kidding? It's okay. It's, <laughs> it's actually kind of funny to see you like this. Forgive me. Uh, we're acting ridiculous. It's really nice to meet you. Uh, so, how is everything? <laughs> Where do you want me to start? I, well, how'd you meet Jason? No, you don't have to say anything. Uh, yeah, what are you talking you about? She what, doesn't what, have to tell you anything. To your girlfriend. What? So, it's, it's okay. He just, he gets a little overprotective oh. sometimes. Yeah, it's really nice of him. He doesn't have to protect me from me, though. <sighs> I'm a private investigator. Oh, mm -hmm. that's a cool job. Yeah. Wow, what kind of uh, cases do you handle? Well, you know, just about anything that comes along, actually. You, pro you probably met my partner, Spinelli. He lives here. I love him. Yeah, he's, he's adorable. He's a cyber genius. You probably know my mom, Alexis Davis. I'm sure you know her. Sure. Yeah. That's your mom? Mm-hmm. Wow. Did you live at Windermere? No. Nope. Finding her was just a little bit more recent. Oh. Oh, so did you come here looking for your mom, <clears throat> for Alexis? Okay. Um, what? Full disclosure here, I, I suppose. Um, yeah, before I came to Port Charles, I was, um, I, I was a con woman, and I actually arrived here with Jax. And I guess since we're putting it all out on the table, I'm just gonna get it over with before. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so after Jax, I was, I was with Sonny. Oh. Uh, wow, you were with Jax and Sonny. That's amazing. Yeah, look, Jax is the reason why I landed in Port Charles, and then I, I wound up with Sonny. I don't know how that happened. It didn't last very long. He went back to Carly. Right, Carly. Yeah. So anyway, as, as soon as they kind of got back together, I, I found out I was pregnant. Okay, you know what, you don't have to uh, No, this all right, Jason, I, I kind of want to just get it out on the table, you know? It was a good thing because I moved in here and Jason took care of me and we fell in love and we were really happy. We were gonna raise the baby together, but that didn't happen. Um, I lost her. She was, she was still born. I'm so sorry. That's, yeah. that's horrible. It's, it's okay. Pick up the pieces and you move on. I, uh, I kind of wish you would have told me about some of this. You know, I'm really sorry that uh, he had to come to Rome. I, I feel... No, are you kidding me? Did he, did he needed to be in Rome. You were in danger, right? <laughs> I shouldn't stay here. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. I, I don't, I don't want to make you feel weird. Or no, you I, know, poor Charles was my home, and so I, you know, I can find a safe place to stay that's not going to put you guys out. Absolutely not. I wouldn't dream of it. You stay here. Jason is going to protect you. He will take care of you. I promise you that. I have to go to work though, so it was very nice meeting you. Yes. Oh, so nice to see you again. <laughs> You're standing here. Why don't you ever tell me anything? Because it's none of your business. What do you mean, she, she just told you everything. What? What, 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 what are you talking about? You just give me an order. I'm saying, why don't you ever have a real conversation with me and tell me what's because going on in your life? Talk. I don't no, want to I'm talk here to in you. the middle of your life now, and I would love to know what to expect when I'm sitting in this place.
much you love Sam? Uh, it's none of your business. Are you embarrassed to answer the question? No. Then why don't you answer the question? Do you love her? Yes, I love her. You do? Mm-hmm. Will you marry her? That's none of your business either. Why? I'm your ex-wife. What does that mean? It means that you should tell me stuff. I'm your ex-wife. I'm your friend. Tell me things. Why do you have to act like you hate me well, so yeah, much? I don't hate you. you. I just want to do my job so you can go back of? to Rome. Okay, well, good. Good. Great. Fine. Come on, let's go. Go where? I need to talk to Sonny. Okay, that makes no sense at all. No, it doesn't need to make sense. It's... Trust me, I don't need to make sense to you. I just need you to understand okay, hold on. Before that we... I have made a decision. Before and I'd we like got to go here, you said Sonny's bad for you. The whole plane ride over, Sonny's bad for you. I Why would I take you? I said that to you on the way over. Right. But I've changed my mind. Do you I'm understand not, that no, I've changed I'm my not mind? Gonna take you and to I don't him. want to go He's see Sonny, but for I need you. to go see Sonny. Uh, some could have, we could refrain from using such loud voices in front of him. I'm sorry, but this is the only way that he knows how to communicate. So, I need to go see Sonny, and I would like you to take me since you are my bodyguard. Fine. I don't care. As long as you're breathing, I'm doing my job. Good. Let's go do your Great. job at science. You know what? I'm going to have guards meet you downstairs. Take you to see Perfect. Sunny. I would love that. Great. Let's go. He's just mad because I made him admit he has feelings for someone. Hey, uh, sorry for the surprise. Yes. Uh... <laughs> oh, I just, uh, you're probably wondering why I'm here. Yeah, I mean, you're welcome anytime. I, I wanted you to know I'm going to be here in Port Charles for a little while, but I'm not going to see you ever. Mm -hmm.